Let's do it. Another edition of the Spartan Sports Buzz where we talk about the latest happenings in Michigan State sports. And Tuesday at time is those weekly press conference. You spend a majority of the time talking about the happenings in the college basketball world, namely Marcus Smart, that incident, and really the treatment of fans as it relates to student athletes. And Tom Izzo had a lot of great points yesterday when he was talking about the pressure that fans can really put on players. And here's a little bit about what he had to say. I stated it. I'm going to state it till I'm done with this. I feel bad for the players. I don't feel bad for me. I get paid money to take your stuff, their stuff, my wife's stuff, anybody else's stuff. But they don't. It's never over. It's 24-7, 365 days a week. And I'm going to tell you now, if I called any one of you what they get called 24-7, 365 days a week, you'd be fighting, you'd be upset, you'd be bummed out. Not sure what's worse, MSU's injury timeouts during an opponent's driving or your jokes. Thanks, Derek. I do think I'm kind of funny sometimes. Jamie, not nice, man. Not nice. Next up, it's the weekly injury report, and we're talking about Keith Appling and Brandon Dawson for a second straight week. I talked to him yesterday. I'll talk to him every day. You know, a little better movement. From what I know, it's, it's worse now than it was when he was playing. Because when he quit playing, it, it got worse. And was that because of time and all the things? I don't know. Um, I told you he's week to week now because I just didn't want to embarrass myself or embarrass you because I couldn't answer the questions. I guess technically he's still day to day. I mean, tomorrow he could be better um, because there seems to be nothing structurally wrong. He gets the pins out of his hand. Um, I think, what's the date today? 11th. I think around the 20th. And I think at that same time, you know, they'll be x-raying to see. I keep saying that looking at his knee, he was the fastest healer I've ever seen having an injury. Whether bones heal like ligaments, I don't know. But... If I'm a betting man, I'd say he's going to get back as quick as anybody in the country. Keith Appling, meanwhile, who knows when he's going to be back, hopefully sooner rather than later. But trust me, Keith is doing everything he possibly can to get back on the court to ASAP. Yeah, a little bit of everything. I did um, ultrasound, uh, a laser, I ice it, um, I rest it. I, uh, I did something, I forgot, uh, acupuncture. Uh, massage, everything. We tried everything. I never sat out of the game, missed the practice. I mean, it's tough, especially seeing my teammates, you know, battle for 40 minutes and not being able to help them. I mean, it's tough and it's hard for me to go through right now. But at the same time, you know, I still got to be mentally, mentally tough and and fight through fight through what I'm going through. In Keith's two-game absence so far, Travis Trice has stepped up pretty well for Michigan State. He's played 69 minutes and is yet to commit a turnover. And Gary Harris and his teammates are very pleased with what they've gotten out of Travis over the last couple of games. Travis, Travis has done a terrific job. You know, he hasn't had a turnover the past two games. Um, he's been doing a great job running the team. So, I mean, I wouldn't say I've had any troubles or anything, you know. It's definitely different than having Keith, but I mean, he's done a good, great job of adjusting. And if you haven't had your fill of Michigan State sports, here's what's coming up this week on SpartanSportsNetwork.com.